public figures. They may seem invincible, almost as if they had the world in the palm of their hand. But when it comes to health, they're still mortals. Having a chronic illness comes with several challenges, including extensive treatment and stigma. While it's up to an individual to decide if publicly sharing their health information is for them, there's no denying that, especially for the lesser known condition, having someone talking openly and publicly can raise awareness. It can also reduce stigma and be a supportive force for those who are struggling with little to no support. Here are some celebrities who've been diagnosed with lupus. Michael Jackson. The king of pop needs no introductions. While he was alive, few people knew that Michael Jackson was living with lupus, in addition to issues with chronic pain. In June 2009, and just days after his death, the pop icon's friend and medical doctor, Deepak Chopra, confirmed Jackson's longtime struggle with lupus. Michael was reported to have a form of lupus in the 80s. Chopra told People Magazine that Jackson's autoimmune disorder could have manifested itself from years of mental, physical, or emotional abuse stemming from his childhood. He said, quote, Michael was reportedly traumatized verbally and physically in his childhood, and he was a big issue for him. In an interview with Dr. Arnie Klein, Michael Jackson's dermatologist on CNN, he told the interviewer that Michael Jackson had come to his office for skin issues. He noted that Michael Jackson had a butterfly rash and he also had severe crusting, and you could see it on the anterior portion of his scalp. Commonly, a malar rash is associated with lupus, so Klein did a biopsy and confirmed that Michael Jackson did have lupus. Mercedes Skelba Short. She's an American fashion model and actress. She was a contestant on season two of America's Next Top Model. During the show, she revealed that she had lupus, which is an autoimmune disease. She was a finalist on the show, but did not end up winning. After appearing on America Next Top Model, she became a spokesperson for the Lupus Foundation of America. She signed with a modeling management and did some runway shows and editorial work. She has appeared on the cover of Wedding Magazine, Lupus Now Magazine, and Arthritis Today. She has also graced the pages of Teen Vogue and has done a lot of commercial modeling. In addition, she landed some acting roles in a number of TV shows, including One on One, All of Us, and The Bold and The Beautiful. Mercedes is now married and is a mother. Here she is discussing the challenges associated with navigating COVID with a compromised immune system. Like this month is feeling a lot better, but uh, when it first happened, I was like kind of having a nervous breakdown, and that that I don't I don't think I've ever I haven't had one since college, which is mm. kind of crazy. Yes, it has been stressful. It's a hard time to navigate. Marisa Tantrone. She's a TV producer, writer, actress, singer, dancer, and lyricist. She's best known for being showrunner, executive producer co-creator of Marvel Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., which had seven seasons on ABC. She was diagnosed with lupus at a very early age. When I was first diagnosed, it started off fairly minor with just the classic butterfly rash, fatigue, joint pain. And when you're 15 years old, that, of course, is not awesome. Over the years, um, as I neared my 20s, it started to attack more major organs and experienced chronic flare-ups that attacked her kidneys, lungs, and also inflamed her central nervous system. In 2015, wanting to have a baby, she worked with her rheumatologist on the plan to attempt to have a child after two years of maintaining her lupus in a controlled state. She had multiple scares and ultimately ended up having a long hospital stay during her pregnancy to keep her kidneys functioning properly. She later gave birth to a little miracle, a girl that she named Benny Sue. She said, quote, and now as a mom, a working mom, she told an interview at the Lupus Foundation of America, it's even harder because I could care less about myself. But if I'm not healthy, I am not the best self for my daughter. I'm not going to miss some incredible milestone by resting for half an hour. That's something I have to do for her and for my husband. Rapper Snoop Dogg's daughter, Corey Broaddus, was diagnosed with lupus when she was just six years old. Corey 
shortly after turning six, started showing troubling signs and symptoms. She was losing weight dramatically and her hair started falling out. Months later, Snoop Dogg and his wife Shantae learned that their daughter had lupus. Over time, however, having to manage her lupus symptoms has taken an emotional toll on Corey's mental health. I got lupus at six, so I was overweight from being on steroids. And that just automatically just messed with my health. Like I just, I've always been sad. I've always been depressed. Cause I feel like I just, I've been through a lot. Like, as far as my sickness and then not knowing if it was cancer, if it was lupus and then find out that it was lupus and just me being six dealing with stuff like that. Like I hate seeing kids sick because I've been sick I am sick it's a lot like body hurting <sighs> you just in pain and you're so young you're like what is happening to me like what is going on and then you look at your brothers and your other family members like dang like why me <laughs> like why like not saying I wish they had it but why me you know why am I going through this why did God choose me why me and I feel like I've, I've always been in the hospital. I've just always been sick. Like, it's just always been something wrong with me. And even in school, like, my when I first got lupus, my face used to peel and my hair was falling out. And I used to cry, like, I mean cry. Like, at 13, I was ready to die. Like, just so sad, crying to my mom. Like, mom, like, I'm so ugly. Like. Why? Why did you have me? So just because you have money and just because you're able to do certain things that people can't do, it doesn't mean you don't have a heart, you don't have a mind, you don't have a soul. Like I go through it just like everybody else. And I try to be as transparent and as open as possible because I know there's people out there that go through stuff, maybe worse, right? But you can't make me feel like how I feel it's not, it's not like <laughs> important or it's not, it don't matter because my dad is rich. Morris Young, better known by his stage name Trick Daddy, is an American rapper from Miami. He does not believe in taking prescribed medications, following a prescribed diet, or exercise regimen for his lupus treatment. And dealing with lupus, I, you know, I support everybody who, who, who do the medicines and and but the, a lot of the medicines are steroids, and and with the steroids, I even, I even let them shoot it in my arm, my face, and all that. Then you got to take another pill, so the steroids don't affect your kidney and your liver. Then you got to take another pill, so that pill that you took for your kidney and liver don't don't affect your. It's just too much. You know, I feel wonderful. The form of lupus I have is called dysploid lupus. When there's all of there's a lot of different kinds of lupus where People, bones and joints actually f with them bad, where the hair falls out, teeth fall out, and you're tired and you're dehydrated and you're just weak. Sometimes you can't even move, don't want to get out of bed for two, three days. I haven't had no new outbreaks and new, uh, no complications in probably a year or two. It's not just humans who can contract lupus. Millie, the famous pet of former President George H.W. Bush and First Lady Barbara Bush, also had lupus. Millie was referred as the most famous dog in White House history. As of today, there's a dog park in Houston, Texas, named after Millie. It's up to you what kind of treatment approach you choose to take. Ultimately, regardless of how you approach your lupus diagnosis, just know that you're not alone and it's possible to live a fulfilling life with lupus. Were you surprised by any of these public figures having lupus? Leave your comments in the box below.